Hello ladies and gentlemen, Scare204 here bringing you another Minecraft Modern Warfare vehicle tutorial. In this tour, we'll be going ahead and building the PGZ-09, also known as the Type-09. The Type-09, known by the People's Liberation Military designation PGZ-09, is a Chinese self-propelled anti-aircraft vehicle manufactured by Norinco. It is armed with two 35mm cannons and optionally two to four fire-and-forget infrared homing missiles. It started to gradually replace the predecessor Type 95 in 2009. Some military analysts designated the vehicle as the Type 07, but the official designation was confirmed as the Type 09 on the theme uh, expedition of the 90th anniversary of the Chinese People's Liberation Army in 2017. The uh, vehicle itself is pretty cool. It's the kind of peak um, anti-aircraft or self-propelled um, anti-aircraft. Uh, gun platform of the Chinese Liberation Army and of the Chinese military, basically. Um, the older one, the Type 95, I do have a tutorial for, um, so kind of cool to see the um, outdated, I guess, one that came before this, the ones that's being replaced by this um, new design. It's pretty cool and definitely has a little bit more of a modern look to it compared to that of the earlier uh, Type 95 version. Um, with that though, let's go ahead and dive in here and taking a look at the vehicle. Now first thing you'll probably notice here is we do have a digital camouflage on it. Um, based off some pictures and stuff like that, the vehicle was done up in a kind of digital uh, camo scheme with a darker green, a lighter green, and a tan color. Um, I think it's personally pretty cool and wanted to go ahead and kind of replicate that camouflage just to kind of make the vehicle look a little bit more uh, interesting because these self-propelled anti-aircraft guns can be very... Uh, very bland at times, but uh, with that, let's go and dive in here to take a look at the vehicle. So, starting with the vehicle, you have obviously the front up here, nothing too crazy. You get the uh, driver's hatch, all the um, few ports and stuff like that. To the right here is where the engine will be located. You have all your vents and all that over it. Uh, the road wheels, of course, and then you have the turret here, which houses the two 35mm cannons, um, as well as where the homing missiles will be located. Um, this version here does not have the homing missiles equipped. Um, but they would be located mounted on the turret somewhere like uh, somewhere on this build um, We then have smoke grenade dispensers underneath the guns obviously your detection equipment so the radar and all that stuff and uh, Yeah, that's pretty much the vehicle pretty straightforward and simplistic build should be a pretty cool addition to any of your worlds uh, especially if you're building some Chinese military themed builds and uh, Always nice to add to our Chinese lineup as our Chinese ground vehicle line is uh, pretty lacking and something that uh I feel we definitely need to expand upon considering China is becoming more and more of a, you know, adversary or kind of a player in the uh, global military aspect. Uh, with that though, let's go ahead and dive into the tutorial by beginning with our first layer. All right guys, so let's go ahead and get started with this build. Now the first thing I want to mention here is that the camouflage is going to be added on at the end of the tutorial. We'll talk about that a little bit further once we get to that point. So for the kind of beginning section here of this uh, tutorial, um, or really just for the main kind of building component of it, we're going to be going ahead and using lime green. Um, to kind of, or lime ter terracotta, my bad, uh, to basically create the uh, main color scheme for the vehicle, along with dark prismarine stairs and slabs as our um, stair and slab option. Now, uh, the vehicle itself does seem to be with the digital camouflage more in the lime green color or this lighter green uh, as compared to the darker. Um, terracotta green that we normally use so I just want to go ahead and kind of do a mix match of that um, and everything so again you can use the regular green terracotta if you want um, but for us we're going to be going ahead and using the lime terracotta now to go ahead and get started with this we're going to go ahead and place down a nether brick slab and a nether brick top slab coming off it like so we're going to go ahead and take dark prismarine and we're going to place down a row of three of dark prismarine top slabs across the from the nether brick slab so again that's a row of four there an air brick slab on this side and top slab. So again, you have four of these dark prismarine top slabs and your two air brick slabs on both ends to get started. Now for our track layout, we're going to place down a black concrete block, then a dark oak wood trap door, black concrete, dark oak wood, trap door, black concrete. And then we're going to place down two polished black stone stairs back to back, black concrete again, and another two polished black stone stairs back to back after that. We'll then place down an air brick uh, slab and an air brick uh, top slab. We're gonna do the same thing over here on this side. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this a little bit quicker as I already explained it in detail on the other side. If you need to get a little bit lost or confused, just go ahead and look at the other side. It's exactly the same layout for the tracks on both sides. Now, once we have that laid out for the base of our tracks, we're gonna go ahead and then take our dark prismarine slabs and we're gonna go ahead and fill in the space in between the tracks, 
with our prismarine top slabs. So again, we're just going to go ahead and fill this all in. Like so, and bring it all the way back here to between these narrow brick slabs. And that right there is going to fill in the base of the uh, vehicle. Um, after that's all done there, uh, we pretty much have one last thing to do, and that's going to be the use of these banners. Now, I use banners here to go ahead and kind of help highlight the road wheels a little bit. I think it does a good job at kind of making them stand out a little bit more and more, look more like the actual road wheels on tank. So the first ones we're going to be using is I went ahead and used the lime green banners. You can also use the uh, just normal green as well. Um, that's also an option depending on what you're going for. But if you're going for the three-tone color scheme like I'm doing, the lime green here is a good way to tell it apart. Since the majority of our vehicle is going to be in this lighter green color, we're going to be using the lime green here for our road wheels. So our first banner here is real simple. It's basically a green lime green banner, a black border, and a black horizontal line for the center. Really straightforward stuff, and this banner here is going to go on each one of these black concrete blocks to go ahead and create these wheels. So again, on each one, like so. Now once we have that all finished, our next set of banners to go on the stairs here are going to be... Uh, basically two lime green banners again. We're going to go and split the banners in half with black on the left side of one banner and black on the right side of the other banner. Then for both banners we're going to do a black horizontal line just across the center and that is all you need to do for those banners. So really simple banners. Uh, again you can take the moment, pause the video here if you need to, um, but I'm not going to go ahead and show you guys how to make them a loom just because they're only two steps, really simple. And these banners here will be placed on the sides of the stairs so the green is facing toward one another and that's going to create a pretty cool effect here and kind of help us with the spacing of our wheels but also just kind of helps them look a little bit more um, like road wheels so really nice design there and then you can also see here if you want to do the three-tone uh, color scheme then you can go ahead and kind of make different colors for each uh, each of the banners um, but anyways though that is going to complete what we have for layer number one of the build and with that we'll go ahead and move on to layer number two moving into our next layer we have layer number two for layer two to start with we're going to go ahead and place down one two and just two uh, lime green terracottas on these narrow brick slabs and then we want to go ahead and place down a row of four across between the second set we're going to go then to take green stained glass panes and we're going to place down a row of three across between those slabs and then we want to place down a dark oak wood trap door on the front of those blocks just like that. After that's done, we're going to go ahead and then grab ourselves a dark prismarine stair. We're going to place down an upside down stair on both sides. And on the side of this stair, we want to go ahead and very simply just place down a dark oak wood sign. We will also take dark oak wood trap doors and place them on the sides here of these lime green terracotta blocks as well. So just like that. And again, your dark oak wood sign there. We're going to go then take our nether brick top slabs. We're going to go back one, two, three, four, and five slabs. On this fifth slab, we're going to place down a item frame then a lime green terracotta block in the item frame, and then a dark oak sign on the side there of that slab. And same thing is gonna go over here. One, two, three, four, five. Then we have our item frame, our green terracotta, and our dark oak sign. So same thing like that. Um, then we just wanna go ahead and fill in the space in between our narrow brick slabs with lime green terracotta. Again, just kind of closing this hole inside off from the outside. Now we're gonna go ahead and continue on for our nether brick top slabs. We're gonna go back an additional one, two, three, four, five back and one, two, three, four, five. Again, we're gonna have five rows of four of lime green terracotta to fill in the bottom here of the, or in the inside of here of the vehicle. Again, you can leave some space open on the interior here if you do want a bit of an interior, but for us, we're gonna go ahead and fill this completely in for the tutorial. We're gonna go ahead and then place down a full block of lime green terracotta on both sides here. This can be followed with a dark oak trap door on the side of those blocks as well as an item frame on the sides of these green terracotta blocks. And then in those item frames, we're going to place down cobwebs and then a dark oak wood button on that block as well. So just like that on both sides, and that is going to basically set us up there. Now, once we have that done, we're going to go and then grab ourselves some mossy cobblestone walls and also some mossy stone brick walls. The mossy stone brick walls are to show where the door would be on the vehicle. You can go ahead and use just mossy cobblestone all the way across if you do prefer. But we're going to have our mossy cobblestone on the left side and then two mossy stone brick walls on the right side to help kind of highlight where our door is located for the crew. Um, we're also going to go ahead and place down a item frame on these two outer walls and then a trip our hook in the item frame rotated face downwards. So that's going to basically complete what we have there for um, the vehicle. Um, and then also in the front here, we're going to go ahead and place down an item frame on these outer glass panes just like for we did for the walls back there and also a tripwire hook and again rotated to face downwards. 
With that, though, that's going to wrap up everything we have there for layer number two. And with that, let's move on to layer number three. Moving into our next layer, we have layer number three. For layer three, to go ahead and get started with here, we're going to go ahead and take our daylight detectors. We're going to place down a row of six across and then an item frame on these slabs here. We're going to go ahead and then place down a white bed in the item frames, rotate it sideways. And then we want to go ahead and grab a dark oak sign and place a dark oak sign on the side here of these daylight detectors as well. Um, so once we have that done, it's going to kind of create our front headlights there. After that, we want to go ahead and then take our dark prismarine slabs. We're going to place down a row of six all the way across here. And then we're going to place down two lime green terracotta blocks on the left side and the left side only. We're going to go and then take our end portal frames and just place down a row of four across on the other side. After that is all done, we're going to go and take a green shortcut box. We're going to place down a green shortcut box here. And then two lime green terracotta blocks to the left side and then three over here to the right side. We're going to go and then place down a row of six of lime green all the way across. And then we want to place down a another green terracotta block in the, or we're going to go ahead and start with one, two, three over. And then we're going to place down a green shortcut box and then two more uh, green terracotta blocks over. We're going to place down one green terracotta block here, a green shortcut box, and then one, two, three, four lime green terracotta blocks over. Now, um, on the side of this block here, we are going to go ahead and place down an item frame. In that item frame, we want to place down black concrete and a dark oak wood sign on the side there. And I think that's only going to be on the right side because that's the exhaust from the engine. And yeah, that's going to only be on the right side. Um, after that is done there, we're going to go ahead and place down another row of six of lime green, or my bad, rather. It's going to be a um, red concrete block on both ends and then a row of lime green terracotta cross in between there just to fill that space in um, on this block here we're going to go ahead and place down a birchwood button to kind of represent the um, Chinese uh, military's uh, logo the little red star and all that then we want to go ahead and take our lime green again place down a row of six across a second row then three four and five and that's going to basically fill us all in completely on the inside there and then on the very back here, we're going to place down a mossy cobblestone wall to both sides. Uh, we then want to go ahead and grab our mossy stone brick, place down two right here. Then a grindstone that's going to come off this wall here like that. And then a mossy stone brick wall right there next to it. So it's going to look like this here on the back. We then want to go ahead and grab ourselves item frames again. We're going to place down an item frame on these walls. A red concrete block in the item frame. And then a dark oak sign on the side of the wall like that. So... It's going to look like that there on the back of the vehicle. Um, anyways, though, that is going to wrap up everything we have there for layer number three of the build. And with that, we'll be going ahead and moving on to our next layer, which will be layer number four. Moving into our next layer, we have layer four. For layer four to start with, on top of the shortcut box, we're going to place down a zombie head. And then we want to place down a flower pot to this side here. So on this block here. Behind that flower pot, we're going to place down a dark oak wood trap door, and then we want to go and then place down our redstone repeater with the nauseous spread apart directly after it. That right there is the hatch for the driver. We're going to go and then place down an item frame here to the side with a green terracotta block in the item frame. If you're on Java, we'll also place down a dark oak wood button there on top of that um, lime green terracotta block. Um, but if you're not on Java, then you'll just go ahead and place down the item frame. On this side over here, we're going to place down one, two, three, four item frames. Then one, two, three, four again. And to go ahead and set up our fence here on top of the engines, we're going to go ahead and place down um, basically iron bars in each one of those item frames. We're going to place down another item frame here. This with a lime green terracotta block in it. And again, a dark oak wood button if applicable on it. We're also going to place down a green carpet on top of the red concrete block there to go ahead and cover that up from the top. And basically your front should look like this so far. Now at this point here, we're going to go and then take our dark prismarine stairs. We're going to place down two upside down stairs here. So kind of right next to this, these green shortcut boxes. So it's going to sit like so. And we want to go ahead and grab zombie heads. We're going to place down two zombie heads like this, and then one on each side like that. Then we're going to place down a row of two of lime green terracotta, a mossy cobblestone wall on both ends. And then we're going to place down another row of two of mossy cobblestone or a green terracotta and then a dark prismarine stair again on the sides there. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and place down another row of two of uh, lime terracotta, and again, a uh, dark prismarine stair on both sides. And once you have that all done, we're gonna go ahead and place down wither skeleton skulls um, on the sides here of these stairs. After that's done on the back, we're gonna go ahead and place down two more dark prismarine upside down stairs, and then a zombie head on both ends 
Um, and then after we have that done, we're going to place down two dark prismarine top slabs and then two dark oak trap doors. And that's going to kind of set up our turret here. Now, after that is done, we want to go ahead and then grab ourselves some item frames. And we're going to place down an item frame here in the corner and then a block in the item frame and then a dark oak button. So it's going to look like that there. And then over here on the other side, we're going to go ahead and place down another redstone up here with the notches spread apart here and then a dark oak trap door in front of it. So it's going to basically set up um, this design here for the um, layer four. And uh, with that, we'll be going ahead and moving on to our next layer, which will be layer number five. Moving into our next layer, we have layer number five. For layer five to begin with, we're going to take our lime green terracotta. We're going to place down a, or first actually, we're going to take our dark prismine stairs. We're going to place down two stairs like this on top of the stairs we set up in the previous layer. We then want to go ahead and grab ourselves mossy cobblestone walls. So we're going to place down a row of two in front here, and then a row of two behind the stairs. We're going to then take our lime green terracotta. We're going to place down a row of two. A second row of two, three, four, and five rows of two going back like that. Then we want to go ahead and place down a dark prismarine top slab coming off this block here. And then after that, we we're going to go ahead and place down a second top slab behind it and then a dark oak trap door. And same thing over here, two top slabs and a dark oak trap door. Now coming off those top slabs going forward, uh, we're going to go ahead and grab our dark oak fence gates. You're going to place down one, two, three, four, five. Fence gates forward and then a wither skeleton skull on the tip and same thing will be done up here on this side. And that's going to set up our guns there. After we have that done, uh, we then want to go ahead and go to the top of the wither skeleton skulls and we're going to place down flower pots just on top of those blocks like so. And then this next feature here is going to be kind of more oriented toward my Java players. We're going to place down an iron bar on the sides here of this slab. Then we want to go and type in the command slash give at p minecraft colon debug underscore stick so this command right here pressing enter will get you this glowing stick what we're going to do here is we're going to change the properties of the iron bars so we actually extend it um, in the direction toward our slab so it might take some playing around with but once you have your slab kind of extended there uh, or your um, iron bar extended to the slab that's basically what you want there so just a nice little uh, design there just kind of gets even more closer to the actual real thing uh, again not a completely necessary detail but just something that is present on the real life example and something i wanted to include um, anyways though that is going to complete everything we have for layer five of the build and with that we'll be going ahead and diving into layer number six moving into our next layer we have layer number six for layer six to go ahead and get started with here we're going to place down mossy cobblestone walls on top of these ones and then we're going to place down two green terracotta blocks um, directly behind those walls we then want to place down a zombie head on both ends. And then behind that, we're going to place down zombie heads again, but we're going to go ahead and kind of have them angled a little bit so that they're sitting like this here in this section. So just like that. Behind that, we're going to place down a row of two of green, uh, or actually, sorry, my bad, a row of two of end portals. And then a zombie head on both sides of the end portals. We're going to go ahead and then place down a row of lime green terracotta across, then a dark prismarine stair on both ends. Then a end portal frame on both ends, and again two lime terracotta blocks across the center. On the side of this uh, block, we are going to go ahead and also place down a dark oak with sign, um, and same thing over here on this side. Now continuing on, we're going to go and take our lime terracotta, place down another row of two, then some dark prismarine stairs on both ends, and then on the back here again two lime ter terracotta. On the right side of here, we're going to place down an item frame. And it's going to have a black concrete block in the item frame and then a dark oak with sign if you're on Java on the side of that. And same thing will be done over here on this side. So just like that on both sides there for the turret to go ahead and basically complete that. And with that all done, that's going to wrap up what we have there for that. And we're going to be going ahead and now moving into our last final layers of the build. So with that, let's go ahead and move into... Uh, layers 7, 8, 9, 10, and 11. Moving into our final layers here, we have layers 7 through 11. For these layers to start with, we're going to place down a dark prismarine slab on this right um, block here. So this right side, and we're going to place down a zombie head on the back side, and then dark oak with signs wrapped around the other three sides here of the slab. After that's done, we want to go ahead and then place down two zombie heads on top of these blocks here, and then two dark oak with trap doors. After those dark oak trap doors, we're going to go ahead and then place down a row of two of daylight detectors. And then we're going to place down two dark prismarine stairs back to back like this. Make sure these trap doors are closed also. 
And then on this end portal frame here, we're going to place down a zombie head on the right side. On the left side of the build, uh, we want to go ahead and place down a uh, dark oak wood fence post, then one chain, and then one, two, three iron bars up. And the reason for using this chain here is because if we don't, then it will connect up to this wall here, and obviously we don't want that happening. Now for our little uh, radar system here on top of the vehicle, to finish this off, we're going to go ahead and place down a row of four of mossy cobblestone walls, the center two walls on those two stairs. Then a dark oak wood trap door on the backs here of these two walls. We're also going to go ahead and grab ourselves some zombie heads. We're going to place down two zombie heads here on those stairs and then end rods on top of them. Then we want to go ahead and take our monster cobblestone walls again and place down a row of four across the top here and then we're going to place down dark oak trap doors on the side of those four walls and close them like that to go ahead and create your radar system for the top of the build. And once you have that all done, that's going to basically complete the uh, layers 7 through 11. And with that, my general design here for the kind of base color scheme of the PGZ09. With that, we're going to go ahead and now move into the camouflage. I'm going to talk a little about what I did for it and show you guys what you can do for yours. And then we'll conclude the tutorial from there. So with that, let's move into the camouflage. Let's go ahead and talk about the camouflage now. Now, the camouflage is pretty straightforward. I'm not going to show you guys how to put it on block for block. But I'm going to go ahead and kind of explain what I went ahead and did for it. Now, with the camouflage, it's kind of a three-tone. You have the lighter green, which we built the air, which we built the um, anti-aircraft gun system in, and then you have a darker green, which for me I used green terracotta, and then we also have a tan, uh, which is or like a sand color, which I used obviously sandstone for that. Now, realistically, we can't really show anything to show the difference for. Um, the stairs, slabs, walls, and um, glass panes for the two shades of green. So for those, uh, you're just going to basically be leaving the green where it's at. Um, the tan, however, you can use that. Obviously, we have sandstone slabs and stairs. You'll be using those in place of um, the... Uh, the green, the prismarine slabs that we have placed. And you want to make sure that you kind of have a consistency of a little bit more lighter green. So I'd say maybe 50% that light green and then 25% that dark and then 25 that tan is kind of seems about the right colors uh, proportion for what it's actually like. And basically all you're going to do is just kind of randomize the blocks into the build. Um, really straightforward. You can see I have a little bit of tan, kind of speckled, not really any big chunks of it. Um, if there's any big chunks of green, it's the lighter green. Again, you just kind of have the sporadic darker green here and there for it, and obviously both sides are a little bit different. I also made sure to include it with, around here by my road wheels. So my road wheels here are, you know, obviously that's supposed to be that tan color, the lighter green, the darker green, so kind of have those mixed up as it would be. And uh, yeah, you're just going to kind of throw in the blocks here a little bit here and there just to help kind of um, spot it up a little bit and create that, um, that design there for it. Um, and I also went ahead and used dark oak wood buttons and also... Uh, birchwood buttons to kind of help show the um, the difference here in, or like these little specks so the, the camouflage it's digital so there's a lot of these little specks on it too they're not just kind of big splotches um, but they're actually like these little patches and I went ahead and used the birchwood buttons to kind of do that and I also used dark oakwood buttons in kind of areas where there would be maybe darker green or something so just something to kind of keep in mind if it, it's pretty straightforward and obviously I'll leave you guys to your own devices to kind of go crazy with it um, but anyways that's going to wrap up my tutorial here for the PGZ09 and uh, with that so uh, we're going to wrap up the video here. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. If you do end up going ahead and building this build, I do ask that you guys give me proper credit for it. This will be linked from a silent build to my channel or this video if this does appear your social media sites. As long as you guys give me proper credit for the build, you're free to for a project you guys are working on. Um, with that, thank you guys again so much for watching. As always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. This has been Gary 204 and I'll see you guys next time.